it wasn't my idea. Um, uh, I, I, I had the kind of first contact through my agent who had been ap approached by a number of producers. And um, I, I really had to be persuaded because I had never been convinced before that adaptations were a good idea. Um, I just didn't, I also just really did not want to hate the adaptation of my own book. I didn't want it to be yet another occasion where I was like, well, the book was clearly better. <laughs> so um, it was a, it was a risk given my kind of feeling about the whole process. And, but, but the producers who ultimately did produce the show gave me the opportunity to adapt it myself. And my agent said, you know, you'd really be an idiot to turn this down. And she was right. Um, she was right, as she so often is. I fell in love with screenwriting, but I also fell in love with Carla Simone in this role. And so, you know, the two things just came together to make it a pretty enjoyable experience in spite of my initial reluctance. I didn't really want to stick to the book because, I mean, it was a challenge for me, right? I had to find ways to excite myself about material that I'd been working on for years by that point. And, you know, I, I didn't, I didn't want to feel as if I was engaging with the material in the same way. And I knew that if I was going to have a hope of exciting audiences, I had to excite myself. So the challenge for me was, how is this going to be like the book, but as unlike the book as I can make it? Um, and it was really narrowing in on the love story and all of the intricacies and complications and challenges of that. And it's the thing that seems to have a lot of people talking, you know, which was what we wanted. And the whodunit, like, you know, to really start straight out of the gate with this incredible dilemma, you know, this woman who's accused of murdering the woman she loved and swear she didn't do it, but can't prove that even to herself. Um, so yeah, those were the things that I thought will keep, would keep me watching if I was coming to this as a viewer. I had to engage with them as a writer so I didn't bore myself by just going over the same old ground. So when I read the, the script, I was like, oh, what's the period drama? And I was like, Oh, she's Jamaican. Oh my God. I, like that literally was like, I was just in shock. Like I couldn't believe that there was a Jamaican woman in a period drama. And um, my family's Jamaican as well. So it just meant the world to me um, to try and get a lead role where I'm playing the Jamaican woman. And um, yeah, just um, from when I read her from the page, I immediately could see who she was. And um, I love the fact that there was voiceover, which added another layer. I love a show with a voiceover. And um, yeah, I just really admired Franny as a, a woman. She was very um, outspoken, very intelligent, very witty. And just knowing the journey that she was going to take and all the stuff that I would get to play with and all the layers and the nuances that I could just throw in there and just kind of really just show off my um, talent, hopefully. Um, I was like, I really want to do this. I have to do this. So. Yeah, I'm glad I got it. Usually I would read the book, but I felt like the process of, from when I got the material, it was very quick. Um, I did a, a self-tape and then straight after I got, I think I did another self-tape and then I came in for um, the final round. I think I read a couple of pages by then. I, I hadn't even had time to read the whole book, um, but once I did get it, and I read it, I was devastated. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, like just finding out, you know, her whole story and, you know, you get the whole backstory in paradise of how she grew up, up until the end. And I was just, yeah, I was really moved by it. And I, I was very glad that this was the story that I was going to tell. No. So what helped with the, the time period was the costume. Yeah, we were in corsets and the, the gowns and the, the sets were incredible. It was like literally stepping into Georgian London. They transformed like we were filming Leeds and like I felt like I was there. It was really incredible. Um, but in terms of like how it was to live in that time, um, I, I just approached it on how what Franny would know. And Franny didn't know anything about Georgia London at all. This is the first time that she's come. You know, she only knows about Jamaica. And um, so I did my own research on that and I, I knew my own as well. But um, yeah, it was kind of like going through it for the first time with her. Um, yeah, so I just kind of stayed true to what that would be. A, a young Jamaican woman stepping into London, it's cold and everyone kind of behaves a certain way and follows certain rules. And she's like, I want to do what I want to do. <laughs> um, yeah, that was my approach.
I really wish I had a team of consultants. I wish I'd, I'd been able to like call up, you know, I used to be a lawyer in my former life. And it's like, I found myself kind of remembering fondly the days where I could get an associate on the phone and say, you know, can I have a research memo on X, Y, and Z? But it was all me, you know, all of the, uh, it really at the stage of writing the novel, all of the research was done and it was all done by me. And then no consultants on the project, but by then, I had a particularly good foundation, I think, in the material myself. And we were really lucky with our heads of department, as Carla Simone has said, you know, the costume designer, the set designer, the music designers, like everyone who was involved had either had some experience or developed the experience through research and how to make this as authentic as possible. For sure. Franny will make an imprint on your heart, definitely. Um, yeah, her journey is just a crazy emotional roller coaster. Um, for me, I, I think I'm just I'm really glad that I it felt like a hill to climb up on and like kind of like say, oh, I did it. And I feel like I did it. Um, and it was a yeah, a great achievement for me. Um, it's my first leading role um in a series. And yeah, just me myself, I, I love her so much and I will advocate for her, even if she, you know, she does some crazy things sometimes, maybe, and you might not agree with it, but um, she's human and that's what we do. You know, we make mistakes um, sometimes and sometimes we don't. And <laughs> I'm just really glad that I, uh, Sara created such a fully fleshed out human being that I was able to just have fun with. And then for my part, I mean, I've been trying to shake her longer than anyone else has been trying <laughs> because she's been in my head since what 2016 I actually joked I think it was on Twitter like when we wrapped on this I was like well that's it for me and Franny and if there's going to be a musical or a radio play no one better expect me to be writing it um you know it's been a lot of work but it's also been a real privilege for me and I think she is a special character because she's She's done something I would have loved to see when I was a teenager obsessed with gothic romances, you know, this Jamaican woman, black woman, but sort of occupying this space that was denied to us. I feel incredibly proud to have done that.